Welcome back to the show. Our first edition of Kids World, we showed you a great book. Now, we're going to take a look at a popular game. Many of us have played I Spy, and while a lot of fun, it's a great sensory activity as well. A lot of families are getting into the homeschooling distance learning realm, and we wanted to pick the brain of someone who's been doing it for some time now and inspiring us with how she does it. It's Nalani Garza, mom and blogger, and she's going to be walking us through some of her best tips. Nice to see you, Nalani. Hi, nice to see you too. I'm so honored to be here. <laughs> well, thank you. I love following what you do on your blog and social media, but for people who might not know you, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so I'm Melanie Garza. I am a stay-at-home mom. My children's ages are 6, 4, and 19 months, and this is our third year homeschooling. And I just have a passion and a heart to encourage others, especially women and moms. And I love to document my days on my social media and just share how I find the joy in the mundane of motherhood. You know, it is inspiring, and a lot of people are doing ideas, creating their home schools and so forth. Uh, tell me about some of the uh, inspiration that you get, what you like to do at home. I wanted to incorporate more hands-on activities and just have fun. And so that's when I recently discovered sensory play. Sensory play is very educational. You can introduce it as early as four months old at, with age-appropriate activities, as well as elementary children. And sensory play encourages development of motor skills, and language development, problem solving. And I love that you can do it indoors and outdoors and it just sparks their imagination and it's just fun. Can you walk us through a sensory activity that you've done at home with your kids? Before getting started with your sensory station, I would, you don't need a sensory table or anything fancy. You can use what you have at home. I have bins, so you can find bins, you can look in your pantry, or even use toys that your children already have. And I just got really inspired by making a storybook come to life. And my boys love these I Spy books, scavenger hunt books. They borrow them all the time from the library. And I wanted to add a theme to it, like a, at our local flair, because in Hawaii, we have such a unique culture. And so we're doing an I Spy um, Hawaiian summer scavenger hunt. And what materials did you use for this? You got creative with it. When you're using materials, you want to make sure that it's toxic free and safe for your children. So today we're using oat cereal and I, I used it because it's going to mimic the sand and you want to make it stick to your theme. And I also got art and craft pom poms. You can find these at Target. And then I just filled it in with their favorite toys that they already have. Um, again, it goes with our theme and it, the local vibe and summer, endless summer here in Hawaii. Well, I have to ask, how did the students, your kids, react to this? Oh, they had such a blast. They loved it. And I just love, you know, making memories and laughing with them. They love seeing their toys being used in, like, a different way. Uh, my son is learning to read, so he learned literacy skills as well as fine motor skills. And it was just so much fun. You know, a lot of parents are intimidated. They're trying to work from home and trying to teach from home and do that. What are some of your best tried and true tips that you might give to them? I would just encourage you to just have fun. You know, this season will pass and just try to make the most out of it. You know, on social media, I get inspired a lot. There's this hashtag called one new play a day and a bunch of other moms post all their sensory activities. And I like to take it and then make it my own. But I love, love to share my tips and you can follow me at nalani.garza on Instagram. Thank you so much, and uh, if you don't mind, we would love to check in with you since so many families are going through this right now to get more of your helpful tips and your inspiration. I would love that. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You know, she is a wealth of information. If you see everything that she does and her husband, they've created this perfect little homeschool environment and it, it's doing things. It's, you know, one of those things where you look at Pinterest and be like, oh, I can't do that. But if you take a little piece of it, and I've seen a lot of people getting creative with their homeschooling and yeah. uh, trying to keep the kids excited about learning. Well, six years, four years, and 19 months, she is a pro. I give her credit. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> so good, good fun stuff. All right, um, we have a.